drop their beat. I woke up this morning like I got a dick going. Tomorrow's not promised, so I live in the moment. It's a good day to have a good day. It's a good day to have a good day. Hi you guys, this is young boy, mommy. Oh my baby's sleeping in the back, he's back there. Is he finna get up? What cash? Yeah, I think he finna get up. So today's video is gonna be like a label and delivery story that I wanted to tell. Y'all let me get my baby. Yeah y'all, so today is gonna be uh, me telling y'all about my label and delivery store. So basically, um, my label was induced. I didn't go and like, I didn't, I didn't have like, I didn't start, my label did not start like at home or nothing. My label started at the hospital. So I was induced 12 o'clock midnight, right at 40 weeks exactly. My label was induced and 12 o'clock midnight. So, basically, when I got to the hospital, I'm probably saying hospital wrong, y'all, because that's how I just say hospital. Look, hospital, that's how I just say it. So, y'all don't talk about me in the comments saying I'm saying it or whatever. I know I'm saying it wrong, but, okay. So, I went to the hospital, and, um, I went there kind of early. Like, they started, yeah, 12 o'clock, they started hooking me up to the machines and stuff. About 1 o'clock. That's when really the stuff that she inserted inside me, it was like the server deal or something like that. It was like a little string thing, y'all. I'm going to put it on the screen and show y'all like what it looked like. It's like a little string. They put it against your cervix, you know, um, to soften it up and stuff. So, their plan was to do that and do the, um, what's they call that stuff? The It's like the fluid stuff they put inside you. It's not with a P. Um... I can't, I can't see y'all, but I'm going to put it on the screen. So, that was their plan to do the server deal, you know, to soften it up and to uh, do the, you know, the other thing, the fluid thing to start my, um, to start my labor and stuff. So, the server deal thing, it got to stay in you for... 12 hours, I think. Yeah, 12 hours. So, basically, they she inserted it inside me about 1 o'clock. So, throughout the times, y'all, like, um, about 2-3 hours later. Well, not 2-3 hours later. I, you know, I was just feeling great. You know, I didn't really stay up the whole time. I didn't even really sleep. I never really slept the whole time at the hospital. I stayed there for 3 days. But, that was inserted inside me. And, um... Like, about six hours later, you know, I started to feel, like, very sore. Like, sore to walk, like, sore, yeah. Just sore to walk, sore to move, to turn to turn. I was just feeling, like, sore. So, and then I started, like, peeing, going to the bathroom. I guess the baby, his head was just, like, getting closer. Like, I was thought was dialing and stuff, y'all. And then I was, like, peeing and I was pooping. And I just thought that, I probably pooped, like, three or two times. I don't know, I was just trying to make myself poop because I just thought that was going to make my stomach feel better and stuff because I guess I was starting to, like, get some contractions, you know. And then, y'all, um, I had to wait all the way to, like, one o'clock in the lunchtime, like, towards lunchtime so that, so they can take it out. So, I'm like, huh, I'm hurting y'all because the contractions was really just, it was bad. I was in a bed and I kept going to pee and it was just so hard. I was so uncomfortable. I've never been uncomfortable in my whole entire life. Like, it was just horrible, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just horrible. Like, so, um, when one o'clock came and it was time for them to check my, to check my dilation to see if I dilated Mind you, y'all, when they checked me the night, when they checked me before they start inducing me, I was, like, only, like, 0 0.5 centimeters. Like, hardly nothing. So, when they went to check me um, after the server deal or whatever, 
I was six centimeters. Now, let me tell y'all, they wasn't expecting me to be no six centimeters because they felt like the server dough was just going to soften up and the, the, um, the fluid thing that was going to put in me, they thought that was going to like really make me go in. So, actually, the server dough did like just about everything. Like, that's the only thing I had to induce my labor, to be honest. So, after that, um... After that, she checked me. She seen I was six centimeters. She was like, okay, it's time to get the epidural. So, I went. Y'all, he pulling my, my bra down. My thing down. So, I, they went and ordered my epidural. So, I got the epidural. It did not hurt. Because when you have, like, contractions and stuff, like, at this point. Bruh, you passing gas? At this point, you gonna do like whatever to get rid of that pain because that pain is horrible when i say that stuff come at waves like it just be it comes at waves and it's just oh you just gotta be ready for it and it's just i'm sorry y'all i was so uncomfortable i never been uncomfortable in my life that bed was uncomfortable and everything yeah. like <laughs> it was just it was just like uh i don't know so they gave me an epidural i started feeling fine y'all i was so numb like i was so numb <laughs> I was shaking and everything. Like, I don't know if they gave me too much, but it had me shaking. I did do a labor and delivery vlog. So, if y'all want to go watch that video, which I know majority of y'all watch the video. Alright, Cass. You don't want me to make a video for them? I don't know. You don't want me to make a video for them? So I know y'all watched it. I know some majority of y'all watched it, but yeah, they gave me the epidural and I was just shaking. Like I was just in the bed, just like shaking my arms and shaking. I couldn't stop shaking. I told my mom I can't stop shaking. I'm just in the bed, like trembling. I can't feel nothing from my stomach on down and stuff. They just let me sit up there and chill and stuff like that. They said the doctor wanted to see me like chill and stuff, so. Basically, they waited like an hour or two. They came back to check to see if I was dilating some more. So, she came and checked me. And, baby, I was 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters, y'all. So, I went from 6 to 10, like, instantly. Well, I want to say instantly. But, yeah. It was, like, about an hour apart. Like, hour or whatever. So, it was about, what, two hours? Two hours or whatever. I don't know, but when it came back to check me, I was 10 centimeters, so, um, they said the man who was delivering my baby was doing a C-section, so once he get done, he's gonna come and pop my water bag and get my labor started because my water bag didn't break. So, by the time he got there, y'all, my water bag broke, but this is the thing about it, y'all, I did not feel my water bag broke, I did not feel my water bag break at all, like, at all when the man walked in there he was like where all this water is at like he seen water like all around the bed and stuff and i'm just looking like what is he talking about whole time y'all they went to see my water bag broke y'all water was everywhere everywhere like i was so numb like i did not feel nothing i guess that water was just like like that's how numb i was like can't even feel nothing you know i didn't feel nothing at all so um they just nothing at all so after that it was time to push out cash and um i pushed them out yeah they got hair on this thing ew i pushed them out out of me they had to tell me how to push because i didn't know how to push and stuff i just was so excited to have my baby you know i'm just ready to push all type of ways i don't care i just want him out so they was just guiding me and stuff like that and the man had got like this this thing to suction his head out and boom he came out so i probably was pushing like 30 30 minutes i don't know and um once he came out out of me y'all he was like the cutest thing ever like he was the best thing i ever seen in my life like it was just it just felt so weird to me like i really pushed the baby out of me and when they took him out they put him on me like he was like so warm and like i was just so blessed like he alive and he's healthy like he's breathing he's crying as loud as heck so you know instantly i was just relieved so 
and they was checking him and making sure he was good y'all he was good he was quiet he was so quiet y'all after he came out like my mama was holding him for like an hour or two and he wasn't crying and um i'm gonna get into why he was she was holding him for an hour or two i didn't even get to hold my baby until an hour too later so the man he stitched me up for i don't know he stitched me up for about a good hour y'all like literally my legs was cock open he was stitching me up i was sending everybody pictures like i felt like i did a whole 369 while that man was like st stitching me up on my phone like i sent it to buku people i had all the time in the world when that man was stitching me up because y'all had a dirt thuggery tear so that man was stitching me up he didn't even tell me how many stitches i had so once that was done um the nurses they were trying to get the bed clean and stuff like that so they laid the bed flat back flat back like straight up flat back and i told them like i'm not feeling good and stuff like that so once i told them that um i think i blacked out but i didn't know i blacked out they told me i blacked out and my mama told me what happened like um the, the doctor and them they ran back in the room and stuff because no, I blacked out. They was trying to make sure I was alright. My mama said they put something by my nose like ammonia or something like that to wake me back up and stuff. But once I got up from that, I was like, I didn't even know I blacked out. But I know after I told them I wasn't like feeling good and stuff after I woke up or whatever, I told them that I was hungry and I wanted to eat. And they were like, you gotta wait hours. Like, I was just hungry, 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 hungry. Like, I wanted to eat. But I still felt weak. Like, I was hungry and weak. So, I was, they was like, you want to hold a baby? I'm like, no. Because I feel like I'm going to drop him. Like, I wasn't feeling good. After I gave birth, I wasn't feeling so much good. Because they were like, my my um blood level dropped, like, from a 13 to an 8. And I guess my body's just not so used to that. And it's not really bad. It's not really a bad drop. But it's still, like. I'm not used to that, you know, and I'm young and stuff, so, it was like that, why are you looking at me like that, so, he wasn't even crying in or nothing, like, for a bottle and stuff, like, I just had to shake back, and I shook back, and I was able to hold him, and breastfeed him, and do all that good stuff, y'all, and I'm just thankful that everything just went good, but, we stayed in the hospital for like what? That day and then the next day. Everything was good. He was good. The only thing was the epidural took a while to wear off my right leg. My right leg was like numb. It was dead. I couldn't even take no shower. Like they had to put the little porty potty thing on the bed for me to pee. Because after I gave birth because... I couldn't get up and walk. I couldn't take no shower. I just felt nasty. Like, I felt so nasty in that hospital bed. That hospital bed was just... Ugh. So. Yeah. By the time my, my right leg shook back, y'all. It was time for me to go home. It was the third day. It was that Sunday. I think, yeah. I came back home on the Sunday. Because, um... I went there Friday midnight, which was Thursday, because we left like Thursday night, like around 10 o'clock and stuff like that, to go to the hospital. They let us in the room about an hour early. We was in there for 11. She started working on me 12 o'clock. So, yeah. And I stayed there until Sunday. And, y'all, that bed was uncomfortable. I couldn't even, like, tell y'all. I didn't. I probably only got about an hour of sleep in the hospital. Like, I always said I couldn't sleep in no hospital. Like, that was my first time I think I ever slept in a hospital. To be honest. So, but basically, y'all, that was my labor and delivery story. My thing is, y'all, um, I was just so nervous. Like, when it, when it was time for me to go get, like, induced and stuff, I was online looking like, um... Looking at other people's stories and they was telling me like what they did. They blew a balloon inside them. I'm like scared. Like I hope they don't blow a balloon inside me. Because it was like oh it's so painful. It's painful this. Painful that. Painful this. And I'm like scared because I'm like oh I don't want to go through that. I don't want to go through that. And um. 
some people said when they get induced they was in labor for like three to four days and stuff and i was just nervous because like my sister she had came down here the day i left to um the day i left to be induced but no i left midnight but she came here friday like the afternoon i was already in the hospital and getting stuff getting prepared to have my baby so she was down here so i was just scared like what if i stay in the hospital for extra days and i'll be in labor for all these days and she don't get to see her nephew <laughs> and then she go back to she go back to texas and she won't be able to see the baby and stuff like i was gonna be so mad but i'm glad that my labor probably didn't last long y'all i'm just i'm so glad i'm definitely so glad that it didn't last long you know um i had him at 4 17 p.m so like i said y'all once they took that cervidia against my cervix i was six centimeters and they ch checked that at one o'clock and i had him at 4 17 p.m they kind of made me wait a little i probably would have had him a little sooner but the doctor was um working on another lady c-section so he was another baby was born that day but yeah y'all i'm just blessed to have my little boy and stuff like that i'm just super duper blessed he's a big blessing to me y'all even though he's a lot of work because he do cry he do cry kind of a lot but it's cool <laughs> it's cool y'all my baby is a blessing you know He's definitely a blessing, but overall, my birth experience wasn't bad, but them contractions is horrible. Yeah. Them contractions is horrible, huh? And that's another thing, like, also, they gonna be, like, looking at your contractions to see if, like, if, if it's messing with the baby heartbeat, so they gonna be having you moving from right to left to left to right they had me moving from right to left to left to right i'm like scared because like my baby heartbeat is going up and down and stuff like that's scary y'all what what you ready to go night night you ready to go night night so basically i just explained my my story to y'all my labor and delivery story it was nothing bad not no bad experience even though the passing out part was scary because I could have just blanked out and would have never, I don't know, it was scary like what the heck. That was just the only scary part that my blood pressure went down and it made me blacked out. But other than that y'all, in the epidural I thought I was going to be paralyzed. Paralyzed for the rest of my life. I just knew that. I just, it was just, it was scary but at the same time, my boy, he was worth it all so my mama was there and she helped me a whole lot so ow boy what the heck <laughs> what? yeah he liked to move his head i don't know what he did but i'm finna end this video y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this video of my story so i'm telling y'all about my labor and delivery make sure you guys like comment and subscribe bye